Hey you guys, what's up? It's Sarah from sarahjnrstyle.com. I'm here to do a post on my January favorites. Uh, sorry I've been away so long, you guys. It's just been pretty hectic trying to adjust to this new job. Um, a lot of things are going on. I'm trying to get used to this new management lifestyle. I'm not sure if it's the one for me, but I'm still going to continue working because I like my job a lot. So anyway, um, again, I'm going to do... This is my, my January favorite, so let's get started. Um, as far as clothing, like I'm kind of restricted as far as what I really wear to work. I can't wear jeans. I can't wear, you know, like certain things to work. So really, I've just been relying on black, a lot of black things. But there are certain items that I've worn like constantly, like one of the first items I'll show you, and sorry, my room is like completely junky but I'm wearing them right now. They're like black jeggings. And like, they're like the best thing since like, I know I say like a lot, but they're the best thing. Like black jeggings, like with tunics have been my savior because I honestly don't like wearing regular pants. I just feel like unless they're loose, I, can, I don't feel comfortable in them. So I've been wearing a lot of black jeggings. Um, another item, that I'll say has been pretty helpful throughout January has been this black leather jacket and again I'm sorry if it's not you know neatly but it's like kind of like one of the best jackets ever I got it on eBay and I think I paid $34.95 for it and honestly it was probably one of the smartest purchases I've ever done because of the simple fact that I usually feel like I live in Florida I don't need a leather jacket but it's been so cold that I've been like thankful that I actually purchased a leather jacket um, another item of clothing that's been really helpful for me has been this Zara tunic and I mean I try not to wear it with black I try to wear it with jeans during the week like on Friday like on one like Mondays I can wear jeans that's what I meant to say Mondays I can wear jeans I can't wear jeans any other day of the week so I've been trying to wear like nice tops with my jeans on Mondays and this one I don't know if you can see but it has kind of like a leather detailing it's got like a leather detail on the collar and then the back it has just like the zip down and it's really nice. I really like it. And I also have it in white. The black on black looks really classic. But the white also kind of looks really classic too. And I think I paid $19.90 for those shirts from Zara. Again, I usually don't purchase things from Zara because everything's so expensive. But I, my, my nail tech, actually, I don't have my nails on right now. But my nail tech actually had the shirt on. And I was just so in love with it that I just had to get it. Another item that's been a favorite has been this H&M bag. Now, I don't know if many of you know about this bag. Um, it's not really shaped properly, but this bag is like a lifesaver because it's all black and has no hardware. And it kind of has the look of like the 3.1 3 Philip Lim bags. I don't know if you can see it very well because it's black, but... I really like it. It's probably one of my favorite bags. I carry it so much. It takes up so much space in our little cabinet. So I'm trying not to carry it as much. I actually bought a Steve Madden bag that's a bit smaller. It doesn't take up as much space. But that bag is like my favorite bag. It fits everything. My planner. I can fit my laptop in if I need it to. Like I think it's the perfect business bag. Like It's almost like a briefcase. And so I love it. Um, another item that's been a favorite for this... January has been my Unif Hellraisers. I don't know if you remember these, but I got these for my birthday. And I've been wearing, like, I don't know if you can tell, but I've been wearing the hell out of these shoes. Like, I'm actually missing a stud over here. Like, how depressing is that? I'm missing a stud. I think it's the only stud I'm missing out of all of them. So it's pretty good, but they've gone through hell. Like, the studs in the back are bent. Like, but I've worn them so much because they're so fun my we switched our boss has changed like we have a new store manager but our previous store manager he literally threatened to steal my shoes so I love them so much and I feel like everybody else likes them they're kind of like a nice conversation piece with customers at work 
Another item that I've been kind of wearing a lot have been like these gold studs. I don't know if you can tell that they're gold, but they're like gold little studs. And they have like little bows on them. I don't know if you can see the bows. I just dropped one of them. But I really like them. I actually dropped it in my shoe, guys. I really like them because they're easy for me to wear because I have to wear like a necklace like lanyard with keys and wearing like hoops like this doesn't I wore hoops today because I wasn't really using my keys that much but when I have to use my keys I cannot wear like a hoop earring because sometimes I have to take them off and on and then I if I use also use I also use um fitting room keys so it's like taking that off and on and getting caught in the earring is just not fun so those gold studs have been like my best friend um another item that's been my best friend has been like this watch this black digital watch I don't know if you see it says the time but this black digital watch I actually bought for ten dollars at my store and it's been a lifesaver it's been such a lifesaver because I didn't have a watch like I just wanted a digital watch so I didn't have to sit there and like look like I'm lazy I don't like calculating the time on a regular watch so I just wanted a digital watch that could tell me the time the day and everything so that watch was ten dollars I actually bought it in white too the white one's so grimy that I don't want to show you guys but I wear that black one all the time like when I lose the black one I wear the white one if I lose the white one I'll wear the black one if I lose both then I'm just like I'm screwed so definitely one of my favorites another favorite of mine um, that not really clothing related or accessory related I don't know if you can tell but it's been these fragrances like these particular fragrances this one is Beyonce heat rush and it's like I don't know if you can see the Beyonce it says Beyonce let me get in the camera Beyonce and then it says heat and this is the heat rush now my first assistant manager put me onto this it is oh my gosh like it's it, it smells like this is like this is my go-to fragrance for the club when I go out on the town or go to the club or go on a date this is the go-to fragrance because it is like it just draws men in. I don't know what it is about this fragrance. I don't know if it's by because it's by Beyonce. I don't know. It draws men in. Like I've never gotten so much play in the club or out when on the town when I've worn this than when I've worn this, honestly. And I actually have the imitation too. I bought actually it's funny. I bought all three fragrances at my job. How crazy is that? Like all of these are from there. Um again, this is the Beyonce Heat Rush. I paid $19.99 for it. And I didn't get a discount at the time because I just purchased it. Just Actually, I think I put it on layaway. And um, it was a really good deal. And then I got the, I actually got the gift set for the imitation. And it's called Hottest. And it actually came with this fragrance. Um, it came with like a roll fragrance. I wish I would have had it with me together. But I mainly use this. Like, I don't know. You can tell that this is like frequently used. Like, they're basically about even as far as how much I've used them. And then I usually use, I, it's funny, I wear the fake one like to work on occasion because I'm like, okay, it's just work. But I wear the real one when I go out, but I get the same effect. So, I mean, one time I wore the fake one when I went out and I got the same effect. So clearly they smell the same to me in my mind. Like this one just smells a little bit stronger. And then this is Sweet Angel, which is an imitation of the Victoria's Secret, um, it's a Victoria's Secret. I can't remember the exact one, but it's an imitation. Actually, I have the lotion too. So give me like two seconds to get that. Okay guys, so I went and got the lotion and this is the Sweet Angel Lotion. And it's the imitation of the Victoria's Secret Dream Angel Desire. And I wear that to work as well. Um, it's definitely a cool fragrance to wear. I like the smell because it smells so fresh. Like. It kind of smells like fresh laundry or kind of like a powdery kind of laundry smell. I really like it. And it's fun for me to wear to work because I like it because it's light. It's not so heavy as like the Beyonce Heat Rush. So definitely a favorite of mine. And I believe that's all my favorites I have. I don't have a lot of favorites because I've just been so busy. I have, oh, one more favorite. This OPI, I'm wearing this on my nails to kind of cover up some nail damage, but... OPI um, don't pretzel my buttons I don't know if you can see that 
get it right in the camera. I don't know if you can see it, but it's Don't Pretz on My Buttons, and it's one of the best colors ever. I love this neutral color. It's been one of my favorites. I love to wear it. I've been loving to wear it, and when I get my nails done next, I'm probably going to get that color. No, I'm actually getting red. It's going to be fun. But that's all I have to show you guys. Thanks for watching. Definitely check out my other YouTube videos. I promise to try to do some more videos. I really do promise to do that. I also try to, I'm also going to try and update you guys on my blog as well with some photo blogs. I actually did some pictures recently. Uh, also, I am going to be launching my own online store. I'll be selling some of my clothes that I've worn on my blog. And I definitely want you guys to keep in touch with me about that. It's actually, I don't want to release the name because I don't want it to become this like, oh, now someone else is going to use this name and it become a big issue. So I'll release, when I'm getting ready to launch the site, I'll definitely do a video about it. And I'm also going to let you guys know where the site, the actual link for the site and everything like that. But I will be launching an online store soon. I'm really excited about it. Also, I want to give a shout out, a special shout out to my cousin, Toyisha. She actually has a clothing line that she's going to be releasing soon as well. Um, exquisite couture if you haven't heard of it definitely check it out check her out on facebook she has a page facebook page for exquisite couture i may even i probably will put a link below definitely want to support family when they're doing well so again thanks for watching guys and always remember to have peace love and happiness bye